Hey Brooklyn, I'm Ellie Whitley. And I'm Isaac Agee. It's time for the BearCast. Spring is here and summer is right around the corner. Today, we have a feature story on the historic eclipse. A teacher spotlight. The changing of the commander for the high school ROTC. And the trap team. We'll be back after this. Our lead story today marks a little bit of history. We just experienced the last eclipse until 2044. Previous eclipse encounters occurred in 1979 and 2017. The eclipse we just experienced this month crossed those paths forming the letter A. Cole Hostein helps us tell the story. Cole? I'm Cole Hostein. Monday, April 8th, the students at Brooklyn witnessed a total eclipse that lasted 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Covering 15 states ranging over 100 miles wide from the Pacific to the Atlantic, the students also saw the planets Venus and Jupiter. The entire process lasted from 12.30 to 2.55. This is the first time that we've actually had an event. Well, anything to deal with the, the planets and, and moons and the, the universe, the cosmic universe out there and, and uh, as far as history of, of eclipses and it doesn't occur that often. So it, it's a good experience uh, for the kids. So you want to think of a solar eclipse as a phenomenon where the moon's orbit passes in front of the sun. This then causes a shadow to go across the Earth's surface in certain sections. The eclipse itself is not dangerous, it's how your eyes react to it. Your eyes will dilate or open up because of the lack of light, but there's enough light left over from the sun to still damage your retinas. The key to remember is your retinas do not feel pain, so you could not see the effects until hours later and that permanent damage without realizing it. Full solar eclipse only happens about once every 18 months. The corona of it, it was really pretty. So what I heard was like, Basically that the world was ending and like God was going to come back to like on earth. It wasn't really pitch black like I thought it was going to be. It was like storm black, like a storm was rolling through. I'm really glad I got to go see my friends and hang out with them and enjoy watching the eclipse with them. We all experience part of history that we'll always remember. I'm Cole Holstein, The BearCast. How much time do we have, Isaac? Today, we have a teacher spotlight. We know our junior high Spanish teacher for her speaking skills. She provides unique learning experience for her students. Bellin, tell us more. Su familia la acompaña a la aeropuerto de Los Angeles. Sara y Elsa también acompañan a Ana al aeropuerto. Hola, ¿cómo estás? I'm Bella Cotola with your Bearcast and I'm here to give you the teacher's spotlight. I'm here with Mrs. Chen, here to give you the intake on her Spanish class and what she does for Brooklyn Junior High. I love teaching all of my students about the language and the cultures and some of the differences because each country has its own slang and, and they all have different dialects and um, just teaching them all of these different things is what makes Spanish one fun because there's a wide variety of stuff to learn. Students, connect and appreciate the language 
language with activities Miss Chen offers throughout the year. I chose to teach Spanish one. Um, I love languages. I think they're interesting, especially when you get to talk to different people and learn about their backgrounds and where they come from and um, just learning how to um, communicate with people and, and like share cultures. That's why I love um, being a Spanish teacher and just that's my passion, just learning about people and who they are and what makes them them. Cuando Ana está en el taxi, el chauffeur le habla a Ana, pero ella no comprende. Uh, the chapter book is called Pobre Ana, and um, the purpose of it is for us to use all of our skills that we've learned this entire year. So all of the vocabulary that I choose at the beginning of the year, it, it's built, it, like, built on top of each other throughout the year, and it all stems from this book. I choose about 80% of the vocabulary, and the other 20%, um, they should be able to figure out by context clues. And um, it also, it's relatable. Like, the Anna, the, the main character of our story, um, she's a ninth grader, and so she has lost experiences just like everybody else. And so I think it's also very relatable. If the class was full this year and you didn't get the chance to take it, try again next year. Miss Chen's class is not one to miss. That's all for the teacher spotlight. For those figuring out what to choose next year, take a look at Miss Chen's class. It's more divertido. I'm Bella Nakodwa. Back to you. Anna Sasita and Jasmine Reyes both received the Arkansas Seal of the Literacy this year for both English and Spanish. Congratulations. We'll be back after this. enough to get to be guest at High School JROTC Changing of the Commander. A very cool moment. Let's take a look. Welcome to the Brooklyn Junior ROTC Change of Command Ceremony. If I had to pick one thing to take away from my four years in this program, it taught me that I'm capable. I'm capable of doing just about anything that I put my mind to. So, now I'm contracted to be a Navy SEAL and I need your basic degrees. I'd like to thank the sergeant for this opportunity and going into next year, hope that we have a really great year and just do the best that we all can do. And then First Lieutenant Ethan Fowler is promoted to Lieutenant Colonel and assumes command of the Bearcat Battalion, effective 3 April 2024. This year. In April, the first junior squad got second place at Jonesboro Tournament. And at Corning, Brock Malone was the single sub junior champion. Caleb Mallard was the single class D champion. We also have a picture of Brock Malone who shot his first perfect 25 out of 25. Congratulations, Brooklyn Trap. Now for a few quick announcements. Come and celebrate the end of the school year at Bearcat Bash. The Brooklyn Odyssey of the Mine represents our state. All our teams will now advance to the World Finals in Ames, Iowa at the end of May. The National Beta Club is taking applications for the 2024 to 2025 school years. Memberships are open to grades 9 through 12. Junior high volleyball tryouts for 7th and 8th graders will be May 2nd from 315 to 415. Just a reminder, D&D meets in the junior high library every Thursday from 3 to 4 p.m. The last meeting will be Thursday, May 9th. Also, if you would like to take this class, AV Orientation, be sure to pick up an application from the counselor. That's all we have here for today. I'm Ellie Whitley. I'm Isaac Agee. Bearcast out. Thanks for watching.